Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. I know exactly who this is from uh, because, it, well, long story, I had to kind of retrieve this one. Um, but uh, thank you so much to Vero Engineering for sending this in. I will link Vero Knives down in the description, the website, lots of different retailers where you can pick them up. I believe there's actually a bunch of stuff available right now. Uh, this is a special guy, and we'll get to it here in a sec. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right, let's get this open. And it went to the uh, <laughs> it went to the wrong address, but we got it worked out. Uh, and uh, fortunately, the people were really nice about it. So crisis averted. Okay, what do we got here? We got a with these new boxes. Ooh, boy. Okay. So this is a special one. I, I'm. I think it's safe to assume this is something upcoming that you guys will be able to uh, get your hands on here. Um, I'll provide any and all information that I possibly can here in just a, well, I mean, down in the uh, description is what I was trying to say. Does this come out here or is it like not going to come out until I cut this or maybe I wasn't supposed to cut it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to cut back here so we can get it to come out. Okay, there we go. Oh boy, it looks like maybe maybe some new boxes, but uh, the actual model, this is a model that I have in my collection. I bought one of these, um, but uh, this is the new, oh man. So this is, it looks to me like end cut carbon fiber. Then we have the DLC, but also ooh, zirconium. Oh, let me, let me wipe that off here real quick. We got a zirconium backspacer and pocket clip. Golly, that is a ridiculously good looking knife. Now, I don't know exactly how much these are gonna cost. Like I said, any and all information will be linked down below. Uh, but he asked if I wanted to check this out and I said, absolutely. This is the Synapse XL, which is absolutely my favorite of the, well, of any of the Vero knives outside of, I think maybe the uh, uh, the Isotope, I, which I also own. But yeah, wow. Oh, the action is nice and smooth. This is such a good looking streamlined knife. I'll get out my other one here. Excuse me, one second. Got a newer case and it's got more latches on it here, but um, my, I'll get out my isotope. There we go, these are from my personal collection. And then I'll get out my other Synapse XL, um, which is the standard one, uh, but I've added the Timascus clip and backspacer too. So. This is nice. I am extremely happy with this and it is very, very good looking. I immediately, and I know it would make it cost more money, but now, uh, Joseph, uh, Mr. Vero, if you're watching, <laughs> I immediately want an even more special, specially special edition because this is so beautiful and shiny. I love this polished zirconium. Got to get one. Well, see, it's it would be hard because this this part's the frame. It would be really cool to have like to have this area be zirconium, right? I mean, it'd be again, it's hard to do that because the way that he cuts these or has the OEM cut them is that this is all part of the frame. Well, it looks like the bolster is all actually part of the frame. But man, that zirconium looks so good. I, I yeah, I like this. I like this more than my original one. That is really nice. The DLC is a super nice touch, nice and snappy. Ah oh, man, that is a good looking knife. Now, because it's zirconium, right? You can ex expect to pay. I, I would say a decent amount more money. It's just the clip and backspacer, but it's not going to surprise me at all if there is a decent, you know, if these cost a, a decent chunk more. Now they shouldn't cost like you know, $500 more or anything like that. But uh, it's understandable if they, they cost a little bit more, right? It's just like you're going to pay more if you want the Timascus um, pocket clip and backspacer set on the standard ones. I would also like to see the zirconium and backspacer, uh, the zirconium clip and backspacer set be sold separately so that people can add these to their um, current 
models, which I would venture to guess he'll do. Maybe like a limited run or something like that. God, that is good looking. Sorry, I'm like waving it around all over the place, trying to keep the fingerprints off it. It's the only downside of zirconium is it is definitely a fingerprint magnet, especially when it's uh, polished. That is really, really good looking. This is one of my favorite accent materials. Um, I might, you know, I kind of go back and forth as far as whether I like zirconium or Timascus more, which is honestly the reason I own so many knives that um, come in uh, Zirkatai, because it's a combination of both materials. If you're not familiar with this model, I'm going to go ahead and measure it here real quick for you. Sorry if you're hearing noise in the background. My kids are playing in the garage. Um, the overall length of the Synapse XL, and this is why it's my favorite, I just prefer this model in a larger size. It's almost 9 inches, about 8.85 inches overall. Blade length is about 3.85, cutting edge is about 3.6. Right. Let's weigh uh, this versus the other one. I don't think there's enough zirconium here for it to, I mean, zirconium is a lot heavier than titanium or timascus, but I don't think there's enough here to make a significant difference in weight. So the standard one with the timascus clip, 5.71 ounces. This boy right here, 5.78 ounces. So there you go. It's really just not enough. All the way around, fit and finish looks great. These numbered here, what we got? Come on now. What makes the camera think that I care about focusing on the deal there? Number 1585. So I guess that means he's just numbering them as like the total amount of synapses. What number is this one? 595. Boy, it's been a while. <laughs> There's almost a thousand of them in between these two right here. Very good looking. I'll give you guys a look at that end cut carbon fiber, which I assume that's what the material is. I think. Did it say? It has to be. Because look, see, instead of the end cuts here, we're seeing the side cuts. Let's see the actual deal here. We have carbon, and that's all it says there. It just says carbon and then the actual model right here, Synapse XL with a DLC blade. This is a good looking knife in DLC. <laughs> I think I'm just really, really happy with the overall presentation of this thing. You can go back and watch my um, upload, my original upload of the Synapse XL. Uh, where I talk about it, I gave this knife a good review. I really like it. It is definitely pricey, but it's also a pretty unique looking knife. I mean, there are other knives out there that have drop point blades and really, you know, sort of straightforward kind of classic handle profiles. But the overall look, the flat, the heavy chamfers on the side, right streamlined blade to handle transition, the pocket clip, the pocket clip, even though it doesn't have my favorite bill in the world, in fact, far from it, it goes so well with the design. It just is really, every part of this knife is just perfectly designed to accent every other part without being too overwhelming. Really cool stuff. Like I said, any and all information about this model, pricing and availability, if I can get that information, I will link it down in the description so you guys can check it out. Uh, that's gonna be pretty much it for today. Thanks so much to Vero for sending this in, letting me share it with everybody. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.